This is really what allows Kyrie's handle to be his handle. Because when a player is able to do exactly this right here, which is be able to jab, boom, jab again, and again to shot and score without needing to dribble, you're scared of his dribble once he does decide to put the ball on the floor. So y'all got to learn the triple threat game before you even learn how to dribble because it's going to make your dribbling even tougher to guard. So look, a hidden gem of Kyrie's game, really, if you look past the handling, it's his triple threat game, right? And now watch the movement of Anthony Edwards according to each of these jabs, right? Look, jab, boom, hops out to Kyrie's right to his left, right? Brings it back, right? Notice the second jab, boom, jab again. You've seen him hop to his left, Kyrie's right once again, right? And now his screen is coming up. Anthony Edwards doesn't know that. So as he enters that next movement for that third jab, he does the same exact thing where he just hops and gets to a split stance. So now being at that split stance, once Kyrie actually decides to go and rip through, he has to break his entire base. And now, boom, Anthony Edwards is dead on that screen. Anthony Edwards dead on that screen. Now, boom, he gets left. Gobert, you're cooked. You see that left foot? He's cooked. Since he's dead on this screen, look at this left foot by Gobert. He opens up that foot, which shows that he's trying to beat Kyrie to this spot down here. But what is Kyrie gonna do? Pull up. And so now Rudy Gobert is going backwards while Kyrie is already going up. And even though Gobert has length, pause, he can't really contest that. Kyrie got his bucket. This is really what makes elite scores. Look, Kyrie with Anthony Edwards. Boom, he gets a switch onto Mike Conley. Instead of being facing up where he had Anthony Edwards, he gets it to the post of Mike Conley, right? According to the person that's guarding you, you need a different bag for each defender right you got to understand you need a different bag according to the type of defender that you have once you understand that and once you build that now your your game and scoring is that's just, just going to be cash boom look right luca hits this tween there's no gap right now right but notice what luca's going to do change his pace and by changing his pace anthony edwards stayed on the side and mcdaniels left because that told mcdaniels oh he knows that kyrie is open he thinks he's just going to stop and pass it up. But in reality, Luka leaves, right? And now, when it comes down to finishing and using pace, what Luka's able to do is manipulate his strides. Because think about it, this in Luka's shoes, right? Why would Luka try to get here and get 1-2 into a speed finish when he knows he's not going to be, be able to beat any player up high? Now, instead, what I'm going to do is take this one, take the second one, slow it down, get to a stop. And then as, they're, as they already went up and they're going down, is when I'm going to go up. And now I have an easy layup. Deceit, deception, bro. Deception. This is literally a perfect curl. Watch Kyrie's feet, right? Boom. He gets his feet to the same angle as if he's taking a shot off the catch, right? And now notice what he's going to do with his shoulders because he got his feet at such a good angle, right? Notice his shoulders. They don't tilt. They don't shift. And now in doing so, once you get up into that shot, there's less movement. Less movement makes you more efficient. So now, once he gets into the air, he can really just concentrate on getting that ball to the rim. Boom, bucket. And once y'all understand this, right? When you're attacking downhill, the key is maintaining pace. If you don't maintain pace, it's going to be tough for you to be able to make these type of reads and put this type of pressure on the defense. Gobert is playing Grant Williams. Grant Williams is going to pop. Gobert is playing a drop. Now, Kyrie is attacking keeping Ant on his backside and not allowing him to get back in front. So Gobert is not relieved of his duty as a drop coverage player. And so once Kyrie gets here and decides to stop and hit this in and out, Gobert is thinking he could cut middle one. Go, he's thinking about Grant Williams as well. His focus is not centered on the one thing. So once he sees a little move like that, he's probably going to bite because he's not able to fully read what's actually going on. There's so many responsibilities and things going through his head that by the time that shit happened, he's just playing off instinct. It'd be the tiniest things that would deceive a defender. Cause notice Kyrie, catch. Gets his eyes up for a split second and now watch what Anthony Edwards is gonna do. Both hands coming up thinking he's going to shoot. When the game is going so fast, you'll bite on the tiniest things. It's just about your ability as an offensive player to show that, right? And so now when Kyrie goes to attack, this gives him just enough time to be able to go and get into this pull up and get that over and in the mid range. Be the little things, bro. Be the tiny things. All great scorers are able to do this. Notice how the defense is moving at this point in time. Kyrie gets right. Watch everybody. Where are they going? Downhill towards his baseline. And now Kyrie, as a ball handler, what does he see? A gap right here. Powell still rolling. And so what is that going to lead Kyrie to? Space. 
all great scorers are able to find space regardless of the situation because that's what's going to get them the open shots watch Kyrie's pace on this catch right now is really the only person to make this close out over here right Kyrie catches a lot of people as soon as they touch they'll be getting up into a shot but this pause right here at the bottom of his shot is not what fooled Nas Reed because even understand this you may think that threw off his momentum and his fluidity no it didn't right because understand right this is how you're able to deceive a catch and shoot Kyrie catches and instead of going straight up into a shot with the closeout he pauses right there at the bottom of the shot so now as a defender you don't think he's going to go up and shoot because he's paused but as the offensive player when you're down low in your base all you have to do is go up and now this maintains the shot fluidity instead of pausing in between on the way up or on the way down he pauses while he's down so now all he has to do is go up and shoot and he has a late hand by Nas Reed who's way bigger boom bucket it's the little things right there bro it's the little things move if y'all want to be able to get highlights you must play with pace Kyrie has his whole lane right here but he slows down because he sees Grant Williams is now sealed off his lane to get to that middle right and so now boom gets back to this middle sees Anthony Edwards now step over and guess what he does boom euro step in real speed that shit's smooth right but at this point in time the only reason he was able to get that is because he slowed down his pace and allowed himself to read the floor so now he's able to just get that late when you play against skilled players do not do this right that cross body reach because they'll know how to react off that because that reach takes so long to load up and so instead of going for a cross which Luka might do in a regular situation he just goes behind the back right and now as a defender you just have to find your base once again now you're not in the right spots that you want boom quick little step back over the top that's the things you can't do against real skilled players pick your reaches wisely but understand this when it comes down to a spin move, right? The reason why a lot of y'all spin moves don't work is because y'all read late. Lotus, Lu Notice Luca's head on the spin, right? As soon as before the ball is even getting down to the ground, his eyes are already up to understand what I need to read next, right? He's not just spinning and trying to go as fast out as he can. So now once he gets here, he's able to play with pace, see what he has, and use that gap that he has between him and Alexander Walker and make more space and get into that step back late hand boom bucket watch luca catch boom gets into this move he almost falls he stumbles but this is the key to being a good ball handler right now he gets the switch on to mcdaniels after having mike conley he's getting right back into his attack boom makes this move boom snatch loses the ball your ability to maintain composure when shit get crazy and shit get wicked so now what's going to end up happening is that since Luca has developed such a great control over the ball and since he's done such a great job of being able to maintain composure boom step back because he just knows where that ball is you know what i'm saying so now right there still is able to get that bucket despite all the chaos go bear on the clear all right if you just read the floor in ant's perspective and just you just got to understand how players approach isolations it's not about this player up here it's about all this over here right so as he decides to go work his way downhill where can he get to and where does he have space right to this right side because there's an empty right corner and Dwight Powell's playing help on the paint he's not gonna be able to get shit down here right so now he sidesteps and gets out of the space boom off glass you know what I'm saying these are attacks as to which they just simply understand spacing once you understand spacing you'll know where you can be able to get to I don't know if y'all really watch Kyrie because if y'all watch Kyrie y'all understand he did this look watch Kyrie catch hold on what jab hold on jab hold on shot Kyrie doesn't dribble all the time if y'all look past the ball handling y'all realize that Ky the next layer to Kyrie's game is that triple threat game which is why he's able to get so many buckets and it makes his handle even better because by the time this, this shot goes off if he needs that dribble he may use only one to two Kyrie about to go and try to cook up right boom he gets right boom he gets to a stop right it would have been ill right here if he did a pirouette but he ended up losing the rock and this is a this is the example of next play mentality right boom after losing the ball getting a turnover he gets the steal right after getting the steal boom he throws it back to tim hardway jr over here at the top and instead of sitting here in the corner soaking he understands that it's the next play i can't sit here and be mad about what happened before i just gotta keep shit pushing right i gotta go to the next play so now boom screen from powell 
double occurs. Ball gets into the middle. Kyrie staying there, ready to shoot, not allowing those pass plays to affect the present play. And now he's able to make his best play. On Minnesota's part, this would be the only thing that could hold them back in the playoffs, right? Gobert on the screen. It's Gobert on the screen. So what's going to happen when Ant gets doubled? Gobert on the catch. Now Gobert on the catch. What's going to happen with Gobert on the catch? Gobert has a chance to go and make a play. And now tell me when Gobert makes plays like this. He just throw the ball away. I'm sorry, but it's going to be tough when you just have a whole liability on the basketball floor, on the offensive end, when it comes to high-pressure situations. It's just going to be tough, bro.